This is Lesson 8.3 Homework Helper. We're going to do question number 24 on page 474. Before you begin this video, I want you to read the question in the textbook. Make sure you understand it and draw the picture on your own. So I'm assuming that you've already read the question. All right, so in other words, we've drawn a picture. Here's the curve, y equals 1 over x. We're going to revolve around the x-axis. And I want to find the value of B so that the volume of the solid generated is equal to 3. Here's what I know. I know that B is between 0 and 2 and that the volume has to be 3. Each cross section is a circle and the area of a circle is pi r squared. So the radius is nothing more than the distance from the x-axis to the function, which is 1 over x. So I set up the problem the integral from b, that's the unknown, to 2 of pi r squared is equal to integral from b to 2 of pi over x squared dx. The antiderivative is negative pi over x from b to 2. Evaluating gives me negative pi over 2 plus pi over b equal to 3 because that's what the volume needs to be. Solve this equation for b and I get b is exactly pi over 3 plus pi over 2, which is about 0 0.687, which is nice because that's exactly where it's supposed to land, between 0 and 2. So if B is this value, then the volume of the solid generated by revolving around the x-axis is 3. God bless you, wherever you are today.